Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Bass Boxing Outdoors. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say thank y'all for uh, liking and subscribing, doing y'all's thing. And uh, yeah, so the channel's been growing pretty good. And I just, like I said, I wanted to say thank y'all for that. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a little tank review of the baits we got yesterday and So anyway, since I got them I figured that we would uh Go ahead and see them in the tank. I know a couple of y'all said y'all wanted to see that and y'all like the tank reviews, so I figured we'd get in on it So first up we're going to do this right here. This is a, uh, that Croco Gator bait. Kind of looks like a Helgramite slash centipede with a tail on it, a curly tail. Made in the U.S. It's scented, it's salt impregnated. Uh, the color of it's black and blue and it's called a Swamp Bug Senior. So, Anyways, this is uh, what it looks like. Uh, I've got it Texas rigged. And so, anyways, let's uh, give it a shot. Alright, so, not very buoyant. Uh... But all in all, it's not a bad looking bait. Those little legs that are on it definitely have a lot of uh, movement. But to me, I don't know. I think, I bet if you fished this while they were on the beds or something. And maybe even, well, seems to real, I mean, the tail moot has a lot of vibration in it. It has a lot of action. And those little uh, legs have a lot of action, so I like that. So, all in all, not too bad of a bait. Uh, I just don't know about that. Uh, let's see, what are we going to go next? i tell you what, we'll go with this. Next up, we're going to do the Lunker Hunt Finesse Frog. And it's a one-fourth ounce. And it's three inches long. And this is a little Ned, Ned Rig. All right, well, I'll tell you this, it sinks fast, so it gets to the bottom. But all in all, it don't look too bad. The little legs stick up in the air. All in all, definitely a good looking bait. I would definitely fish this. I tell you what, you take this little bait right here and bounce that dang thing across the bed and see if you don't get bit. Hope y'all like the little decorations back there. Now we got stuff we can bounce on. <laughs> now I do plan on putting some fish on, fish in here eventually. Hopefully they won't get hooked, but we'll try it and see. But yeah, I'm impressed with it. I, I like it. I think it's pretty cool that, you know, somebody finally made a frog that dives underwater. And it's actually intended to be underwater. So all in all, yeah, not too bad looking. I like it. Good deal. 
So yeah, that was that Lunker Hunt Finesse Frog on that little net head that it come in, come with. Next up, I'm gonna do these uh, Duo International Realist V-Tail Shed 3 inch. And I did this on a drop shot because I figured that was probably the best way to do it. So we're going to see. See what y'all think about it. All right. So I would say it looks pretty good. Definitely, in my opinion. I think that little tail puts off a lot of action. And on the stand, it stands there pretty good. Uh, yeah, but all in all, I think it looks pretty good. I wish it had a little bit more buoyancy. You can tell that it's not really buoyant because it won't float up more. And so, yeah, I like it. I mean, they look good. Y'all just let me know what y'all's opinion is. All right. So that was that. Next. Uh, let's try something a little different. I tell you what, we'll try that uh, Big Bites BFE. All right, so on that BFE, I took and at the ending on the end of the appendages, I took and split it in half to see if maybe that'll cause a little bit more action. So we'll see. Oh yeah, that splitting it in half worked a lot better. Y'all can see right there, whenever I split it in half, it divides them up and they open up a lot better. Oh yeah, that look, that thing looks pretty good. See, the first time I reviewed this, I didn't really care for it. But now that I've split those and made it look better, shoot, that thing looks pretty good. I like the color of it too. Yeah, this thing split open. They spread open pretty good. So, all in all, I like it. What Y'all just let me know what y'all think about it. I really like that color on there, too. That South African special. So, yeah. So, that's the Big Bite BFE 4.5 South Africa special. So... As you can tell, whenever you split those things open, you get that that good action with the split on it. So that worked good. I like it. Looks real good. Take another look at that one more time. You know what y'all think. I think that it looked pretty good, especially with those splits being in there. As a whole, I didn't really care for it. But ever since I split those ends on it, I think it looks a lot better. But that's me. So that's that. That's that Big Bite BFE. We got one more left. Alright, so now we're going to do this uh, Gambler's 
uh, Kamado. And a lot of people have told me that the the uh, bait was made to be a trailer. And I could see that, and it probably will work. But I'm going to throw it on a Texas rig, on this Texas rig, and I just want to see what it would look like. So, here we go. Let's see what this thing looks like. Tell you what, it don't look too half bad, really. But I could, yeah, I could definitely see myself using that as a trailer. But I don't think it looks too bad like that. I almost look like a little crawfish. Or a minnow that's feeding off the bottom. What do y'all think? But, anyways, yeah, I'll definitely give this a shot as a trailer. And, uh, because like I said, the way it's designed is it goes on the hook sideways. So, therefore, you have the tail swimming sideways. And, uh, so, yeah, I could see that. See, that's how it's supposed to look swimming through the water. But... Anyways, I thought it'd be worth a try just to see what it would look like on a Texas rig anyhow. Uh, definitely got me some uh, trailers now for my chatterbaits and stuff and something new to try out. Huh. So anyways, y'all, that is the baits that were in uh, the box that uh, Steve Chapman sent me from Get Your Fish On. And Steve, if you're watching this, man, I just want to say thank you again. I, I know I probably said it a hundred times, but anyways, I just want to say thank you again. Uh, and thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hold on. I, I'm going to try something. We got this in the mystery tackle box. It's called the Scam Shed. Made by Hawks Fish. And, uh, you know what? We're going to try this out because I've been wanting to see it. I know it's a fluke style bait. So y'all can see that. Fluke style bait. And it's also got these little, like, little appendages on it, like a, uh, like a tube jig. So let's, uh, we're going to rig this up Texas style and we're going to look at it and see what it looks like. So y'all give me just a second. We're going to rig this up. Because I want to see what it looks like. Like I said, normally you would fish it like you would a fluke. But I figured since y'all are already on here anyways, we'll rig this bad boy up and See what it looks like. That way, if y'all have some and, you know, you don't like fishing with flukes, you can maybe fish with it this way. Once again, like I said, this is Texas rig, so... We'll see. Might not be such a bad idea after. So. Alright, so. It don't look too bad, but it also don't look too great. But anyways, I bet this thing's going to make a killer fluke anyhow. Definitely a nice color. But anyways, y'all, that's the video. I just thought I'd throw something in there at the last minute. Because I've seen it hanging on my wall and I've been wanting to see it. So, anyways, that's that. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all again on the next one.